Starting lineups to both males. First for the Episcopal Knights. Leading off and playing center field, number 14, Rocky Gross. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Fight Fly presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors as it's the Episcopal Knights and the Fort Worth Country Day Falcons. Hello everybody, I am Justin Barbosa as we welcome you to Don Sanders Field here on the campus of Sam Houston State University. As we are in the playoffs 
And it was a rainy day earlier, but now the clouds are clearing up. The rain is gone, and we're ready for some playoff baseball. And on the mound for the Falcons is number 12, Reed Stubbs. And leading off for tonight is Rafi Gross. And here's first pitch. That's high, and we are underway here at Don Sanders Stadium. The Knights and the Falcons. Here's the 1 0. And that's low, 2 0. And inside and low, 3-0. and oh. Stubbs behind in the count. Here's the pitch. And right down the middle for strike one. And that's a hard hit liner to the left side and fouled. Counts now four, three and two. And that's gonna go into right field for a single. As Gross is on first base. And it'll be the center fielder, Stephen Pena, up to the plate. After Gross's stand-up single. And that's low. 1-0. Gross going to second. This one's grounded. Though the first in time for out number one. As Gross makes it to second base on the hit and run. And it'll be the catcher James Tossig up to the plate. And Gross going to third and no throw, and he'll steal third. Here's the 01. And that hits him. And Tossic will take his base, and the Knights will have runners on first and third. And it'll be number four, Bennett Hanks, up to the plate. As there's now a courtesy runner at third base 
as it's Oliver Snell taking over for Gross. Here's a pitch from Stubbs. Here's throw the second. Throws, <laughs> throws it right back to the pitcher. Gets past him. Here's the throw home. And no throw as Episcopal will score, and it's now 1-0. As Snell scores, and that was actually a smart play by the catcher. Was going to throw it to second to get the runner, but throws it right back to the pitcher. But unfortunately, it was just a low throw and got behind the pitcher. And Snell was able to advance the home. And that's where the Knights lead now at one nothing. Well, actually, correction. Uh, it was actually Gross had scored the run, and the courtesy runner at second base is Eddie Tamez. Here's a pitch from Stubbs, and that's a fly ball. It's gonna go out of play and foul. And the count's one and one. Stubbs is ready. Here's the pitch. And just inside, two and one. Runner in scoring position. Here's the pitch. And low again. Hitters count for Hanks. And here's the pitch. And that's popped in the infield. And Anderson is there for out number two. And it'll be number six, Trey Oregon. Coming up. Or excuse me. Trace Oregon at the plate with two outs. As that's inside for a strike. And that's curveball down low. Counts one and one. And Tomas going to third. And this one's grounded and fouled. And you have to go back to second. Yeah, Stubbs is now ahead in a count one and two. And that's a fly ball into right center. And that's caught for out number three. Caught by Liberto. And that ends the top of the first. As Episcopal scores a run as they lead it one nothing. And we'll be right back. And we'll be right back here on Five Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors.
Welcome to the bottom of the first. As the Knights lead it one nothing, after scoring on an error. And pitching for the Knights is number 17, Gunner Brown. And leading off for the Falcons is number four, Walker Anderson. As that pitch is low in the dirt. Here's the 1-0. And right down the middle for strike one. And that's a hard hit liner to right field and fouled and out of play. On an 85 mile an hour fastball from Brown. Counts one and two. And here's the pitch. And right down the middle, strike three. Caught Anderson looking with the fastball. One away. And it'll be the center fielder, Luke Rollins, at the plate. Here's Brown's pitch. And curveball inside for strike one. Filthy movement on that pitch. And that's grounded. Fox has it. Touch its first base for out number two. It'll be number 32, Patrick Sheets, the catcher, up to the plate. Here's the pitch. Right on the edge or strike one. And in the top half of the first, the Knights scored a run on an error. As that's a swing and a miss or strike two. As the runner was going to second base, and the catcher Sheets tried to throw the second, but Hesitating to throw to the pitcher, but threw it too hard for the catcher to catch on the ground and went past Stubbs, and the runner was able to score for the Knights. And that just missed on the corner, as that's a ball. As counts now one and two. Brown ahead in the count. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss, strike three. And now in the first inning, as we'll be right back as the Knights still lead it, 1-0 here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors.
Here in the top of the second, as the Knights lead it 1 0 over the Falcons. That's be number 11, Paul Smith at the plate as he grounds this one. Shortstop Anderson has it, though the first is not in time. As Smith will get on with an infield single. And Anderson had plenty of time. Just hesitated just a little bit. And wasn't able to get Smith for the first out. As the Knights will have a leadoff runner. And Stubbs checks first base. As it's the third baseman, Andrew Thornton in the box. And Stubbs will check again. Here's the pitch, and that one's grounded. Matthews has it, throws the second in time. Here's the throw the first in time for a double play. And that's a 5-6-3. It'll be two outs for number nine, Tanner Fox. Here's the 0 one and that's grounded to Matt to Anderson throw the first in time for out number three and we'll head to the bottom of the second still one nothing as we'll be right back here on Vipe Live presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And welcome back to Five Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Here in the bottom of the second, as the Knights still lead it, one nothing over the Falcons. As will be Kurt Kimmel leading off for the Falcons. And here's the pitch from Brown. And right down the middle for strike one. 86 mile an hour fastball. Counts 0 and 1. And swing and a miss. Nasty slider in the dirt for strike two.
Brown ahead, here's the pitch. And outside. Here's the one, two. And just fouled that one off. Kimball staying alive. Still 1-2 count. Here's the pitch. And a curveball in the dirt. Counts even at 2-2. Two and two. And that's grounded and fouled. As Kimmel staying alive. Here's a 2-2. And curveball inside. Counts now full at 3-2. and two. Here's a pitch. And fouled back. And if there wasn't a net here, that would have came straight to the press box where I'm at. And here's a 3-2 to Kibble. And right on the edge, strike three. As Kimmel's caught looking. It'll be the first baseman, Max Miller, up to the plate. And that's a slider outside. Check to the umpire. Here says he didn't swing. Man, low and outside. 2 and 0. Oh. And Brown locked in that first inning. Having a little bit of trouble with his command here in the second. But not there as that's in there for a strike. As it counts now 2-1. and one. And that's grounded down the first baseline and fouled. And that's grounded. Right to Brown, though the first is off the glove of the first baseman, Fox. And Miller's going to get on first with an error. As it'll be the pitcher, Reed Stubbs, up to the plate. With the runner on first and the one out. And we have a development here. As it might have been uh, interference with the first baseman, and it'll be two outs. As Stubbs hits that one hard and out of play.
Counts 0-1. And outside. That will be a ball. Here's the 1-1. One, one. And right down the middle at the knees for strike two. And as you can see, the sun is coming out here in Huntsville. As it has been rainy all day down in Houston. And that's grounded right up the middle. And that's going to find the gap into the outfield. First hit of the game for the Falcons. And they'll have a runner on first with two outs. And it'll be the third baseman. Paxson Matthews up to the plate. Brown is ready. Here's the pitch. And that's a hard hit. Grounded third base. And what a play by Thornton in time for out number three. And now in the inning. As we'll head to the top of the third, Webb Jim by Thornton. And the Knights still lead it. One nothing. And we're back in the top of the third as the Knights still lead it. one nothing. Here's the pitch from Stubbs, way inside. And that's a high fly ball and out of play. Counts one and one. Marco Gutierrez at the plate. Here's the 1-1 pitch from Stubbs. And now it's popped in the infield. And the first baseman Miller almost drops it but gets it for out number one. A mix of sun and shade out here at Don Sanders Stadium. And I can understand why Miller almost lost that ball in the infield. And here's a curveball just outside, 1 and 0. And that's a fly ball to right, and that's going to be out of play.
As Gross is back at the plate. That's low in the dirt. Two and one. And swing and a miss. Got him with the changeup strike, too. And Gross will be looking for something close here. That's that's high. Full count at three and two. And that's a hard hit ball to left field. As Kimmel gets under it. Two away. And with two away, it'll be Pena at the plate. As that's in there for strike one. And actually check that, it's gonna be called the ball. One and oh. And curveball outside. Stubs down the count. And now it's just inside, 3-0, and oh, as it bubbles off the catcher. And as the count's actually 2-1. and one. And that's a fly ball to right field, once again out of play. And the count's now even at 2-2. Two and two. And he goes on the check swing, strike three, and now end the inning. As the Knights still lead it, one nothing. as we'll head to the bottom of the third. And we'll be right back here on Five Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And for all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. Academy Sports and Outdoors, proud sponsor of Vibe Network. And we welcome you back to Five Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors, as the Knights still lead it one to nothing over the Falcons. And here's the pitch from Brown, 
And right down the middle of strike one as that clock's in at 82. And swing and a miss, strike two. As Liberto is down in the count. And swing and a miss, strike three. Another strikeout for Brown. And he's been mowing them down. One away for the Falcons. And it'll be the second baseman, Carmichael. And that one's grounded. Gutierrez is there. Throw the first in time for round number two. And quick two outs for the night. And back at the top of the order for the Falcons, as will be Anderson. And that's outside to 1-0. And foul back. One and one. Here's one one from Brown. As that's a fly ball in the right field and foul territory now to play. Counts now one and two. Brown ahead in the count. Here's the pitch. And fouls that one back. Anderson staying alive. Count still one and two. And curveball swinging a miss. Strike three. Filthy moving on that pitch. And we'll head to the top of the fourth. Don't blink. As we're already almost halfway through the game. As the Knights still lead it, 1-0 over the Falcons. And we'll be right back here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Back here at Don Sanders Stadium, 
as the Episcopal Knights lead it one nothing over the Country Day Falcons. And here's the pitch from Stubbs. Curveball hits the batter, and he'll go to first base. Has to be James Tossig at first. And Eddie Tamez will come back in as a courtesy runner. Hangs at the plate. Run on first with no outs. Here's a check and a tag. Not in time. Looks at first again. As the mask gets back onto the bag. And that's low. And I believe that was called the Bach. As Semez gets a free bag to second base. And the count's going to be 0 and 1. And after that, count will go back to 0. Here's the pitch. And that's another high fly ball in the right field and out of play and fouled. Stubbs is ready. Here's the pitch. And that's grounded. And gets past Matthews. And Tamez will be held at third base. As I'll be a single for Bennett Hanks. And it'll be runners on the corners with just one out. Actually, check that no out for number six, Trace Oregon. And Stubbs in a little bit of trouble here. His runner going to second and the bunt, and it's called a foul. And Oregon trying to play a little bit of small ball with the suicide squeeze. And the count will be 0-1. And we actually have two games going on right now. As we got Episcopal and Country Day going on here on Don Sanders Field. And check the first. Runner going to second. He's going to be caught in the pickle. And everybody will be safe as they get back and they get the steal at second. And it will be runners on second and third. Just absolute smart base running by the Knights. And they got two runners in scoring position. And here's the 1-1 one -one to Oregon. And that's a liner to left field just fouled. And as I was saying just a second ago, we got two baseball games going on. We got this game on the baseball field. And we got the Sam Houston Bearcat, Bearcats on the softball field as they're playing their games tonight. And here's the one two from Stubbs. And just low. Counts even at two and two. And that's a low. And counts full. Three and two. And 
And that's grounded. Anderson has it. Throw to home is not in time. And Episcopal goes up 2 nothing. And runner going to second. Here comes the runner at home. And he's going to be safe. And it's going to be 3 nothing. Incredible base running by the Knights. They have the Falcon defense absolutely unbalanced. And the runner, and the runner was pretty much just waltzing the second, and the runner was heading home. And here's a bunt to third base line, perfect bunt to get the runner to third. As that'll be one away. And it'll be a runner on third with just one out. And here's the pitch. As that's low. With Thornton at the plate. Here's the 1-0. That's low. 2-0. And so that was a perfectly executed bunt by Paul Smith to get the runner to third. And hard hit ball into left field. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Runner will score. It's going to be 4-0. And that's a stand-up double for Andrew Thornton. And it's 4 nothing Knights. RBI double. And a big inning for Episcopal continues. And just a great mix of hitting, base running, and small ball. And the Knights have done it all this inning. As that's low. Counts 2 and 0. Oh. Fox at the plate. And good contact fouled back. And Stubb is looking to get out of this inning. Here's the pitch. Runner going to third. Here's the throw. And way late. And the Knights will have another runner 90 feet away from home. And here's a 3-1 pitch from Stubbs. That's high. Ball four. As Fox takes his base, and there'll be runners in the corners. Just one out. And we will see if this is it for Stubbs. As the infield is having a discussion at the mound. And no change of the pitcher yet. And that'll do it for Stubbs. And it looks like the new pitcher for the Falcons will be number 31, Max Miller.
And Stubbs finishes his outing with three innings and a third. And three earned runs. As I would say, the first one was unearned due to the error. And as Miller warms up, cross away on the softball field as the Sam Houston State Bearcats are playing the ladies, the Lady Bearcats, as they are hosting the San Francisco, or not San Francisco, Stephen F. Austin uh, Lumberjacks. And actually earlier today in the softball field, uh, both of these same schools played each other. And of course on the softball side, both in the playoffs. And on that game earlier today, the final score is 16-0 as Episcopal defeated Fort Worth. As the Lady Knights will be moving on to the next round. Here's Miller's first pitch. Runner going to second. And a low throw. Try to get it to the pitcher. Almost did the same thing in the first inning. How the Knights got their first run. As the catcher is looking to throw to second. But realized it was too late. Too late. And just threw it back at the pitcher. See if he can get it. But goes, about the, goes behind the pitcher. But no run scores. So here's the pitch. And now it's grounded. Matthews throws a home. And that's in time for round number two. As that's a heads up play by Anderson. And that's a hard hit ball into left field by Gross. Back at the top of the order. With two outs and runners on first and second. And as the Knights continue to look to continue to look to lengthen this inning. As they have scored three runs. As Miller's had the count 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. And that's a fly ball in the right field. Liberto is in foul territory just off his glove. And it'll be a foul. As counts still 0 and 2. Runners on first and second, two outs. And here's the pitch. And that's low. 1 and 2. And that's fouled back. Gross staying alive. Got 
Here's the one-two count from Miller. And fouls this one away. Gross making good contact. Here's the one-two runners going, and that's grounded. Anderson has it, though the first is in time for out number three. And the Knights score in three as they now lead it 4 nothing, And we'll head to the bottom of the fourth. And we'll be right back here on Vipe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And make sure to get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com. We'll get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. And we're here in the bottom of the fourth as the Knights score three in the top half of the inning. Rollins leading off for the Falcons as that's outside 1-0. Outside once again, 2-0. And that's in there for strike one. As that's inside, counts three and one. Round down in the count. Here's the pitch. And right down the middle at the knees for strike two. As the count's now full. As that was an 86 mile an hour fastball. Here's the pitch. And grounded. Right on the ground for strike three. As he's down swinging. One away. And it'll be the catcher Sheets. And that's a swing and a miss outside. Chase that one. And it'll be 0 and 1. And right down the middle for strike two.
And swing and a miss, strike three. As that's two strikeouts in a row for Brown. And it's two away. And Sheets was frustrated with that at bat. As Kimmel comes to the plate. And that's grounded. Gutierrez is here. Throw the first is in time for out number three. One, two, three inning for Brown. As the Knights still lead it for nothing. And no heads at the top of the fifth. And we're here in the top of the fifth as the Knights lead it 4 nothing after a 1-2-3 inning from Brown. And here's the pitch from Miller as that's fouled back. Penny up to the plate for the Knights leading off in the fifth. As counts 0-1, here's the pitch. And that's a high fly ball in the right field. And Liberto gets under it for round number one. And one away for the Knights. As Tosic will come to the plate, the catcher. And swing and a miss. Strike one. As that pitch clocked in at 78 miles an hour. Here's the 01. And curveball high. Counts now one and one. And swing and a miss. Got him with a curveball for strike two. And swing and a miss. Strike three. Gets past the catcher. Throw the first is not in time. As Tossing will get on first on the strikeout. As the ball gets past the catcher. 
And the Knights will have a runner on with just one out. And once again, Eddie Tamez will come on as the pinch runner. Or in high school, they say the courtesy runner. As Tosic has to save those legs for catching. Here's a pitch from Miller. Right on the inside for strike one. Here's the go one to Hanks. That's fouled back. Miller ahead in the count, 0-2. Miller looks at first. Here's the pitch. And a curveball high and inside. One and two. And a curveball way inside almost hits him. And it counts even at two and two. And inside once again, counts now full three and two. And after leading in the count, 0-2. Oh and, and Miller has thrown three straight balls inside. And here's check at first, no tag. And that's fouled away. Hank's still staying alive. And here's a 3-2 from Miller. And foul, foul tip. Got a piece of that one to stay alive. Miller looks at first. Here's a pitch. And right down the middle, ball four. And it's going to say he was caught looking for strike three. Has to be two away. And Tamez gets the second base. And didn't see the strike signal from the umpire. But it's two away and runner on second. That's that slow one to no. know. As Tamez is in scoring position with the count at 1 and 0. And that's lift into left field and out of play. Here's a 1-1 to Oregon. And that's a curveball right at the knees for strike two. Miller ahead in the count. Runner on second, two outs. Here's a pitch. And just outside. Even count at two and two. And down low. 
Counts now full at three and two. And this one's grounded. Carmichael is there. Throw the first is in time for out number three. And that'll do it for tonight here in the top of the fifth as they leave one runner on. Back here at Don Sanders Stadium here on the campus of Sam Houston State University. As the Episcopal Knights lead it 4-0 over the Fort Worth Country Day Falcons. As we're here in the bottom of the fifth. And Brown still on the mound for the Knights. And the pitcher Miller up to the plate. Here's the pitch. And that's a hard hit fly ball, fly ball fouled and out of play. Here's the 0-1, and a curveball outside. And now it's lifted to right, and that's going to be out of play and fouled. Brown ahead of the count, one and two. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss, strike three. Throw the first. It's high and not in time. As Miller will get on first with the strikeout. And Tosic had a lot of time, just threw it high. And Miller makes it the first. And it'll be Stubbs in the box with a runner on first and no outs. And Miller will have a courtesy runner. And it looks like it'll be number eight, Miles Childress. And that Stubbs gets back into the box. Here's the pitch for Brown, and that's fouled away.
And right down the middle for strike two. Brown ahead in the count. And fastball outside. And that one clocked in at 88 miles per hour. I believe that was Brown's fastest pitch of the night. Here's the one, two. And right on the edge, just outside, counts even at two and two. And Brown wanted that call. And right down the middle, strike three. Get Stubbs looking. And it'll be one away for the Falcons. And it'll be the third baseman, Matthews, at the plate. And that's outside. 1 and 0. Oh. Runner going to second. And that's a fly ball into center field. And Gross is there for the second out. Throw the first is in time for the double play. And we'll head to the top of the six as this inning ends on an 8-3 double play. Knights still lead at 4 nothing. as we'll be right back here on Vibe Live presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And always make sure to gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. Proud sponsor of the Vibe Network. Back here at Don Sanders Stadium as we're here in the top of the six as the Knights lead at 4 nothing. Here's the pitch from Miller. And he lifts this one into right center. And that one's caught for out number one. Nice catch by Rollins as it's one away. Here's the pitch from Miller, and that's a curveball just high. Oh, 
And Thornton was able to line one down the third base line. That went all the way to the wall. And the fourth inning. As counts 2-0. And, oh. and he's going to lift this one into right field and fouled and out of play. And I was, as I was saying a second ago, I had that RBI double in the fourth inning. And here's the 2-1 from Miller. And now it's popped high in the center field. And Rollins is there for out number two. And it'll be the first baseman, Fox. And that's right at the knees for strike one. And that one reaches the corner for strike two. Miller had an account, 0-2. And, and here's the pitch. And that's high. Here's the one two from Miller. And that's a hard hit liner. And that one just fouled, actually almost went into the Episcopal dugout. And that's low. Count will be even at two and two. And he gets a hold of this one in the left center. And that one's caught by Rollins to end the inning. And Rollins steals another one. As we'll head to the bottom of the six, Knights still lead it 4 nothing over the Falcons. And we'll be right back here at Don Sanders Stadium here on Vibe Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we're here in the bottom of the six, back here at Don Sanders Stadium. Here on the campus of Sam Houston State University. As it's still 4-0 Episcopal over the Country Day Falcons.
As that's right on the corner for strike one. With Benjamin Liberto at the plate, the right fielder. And here's the 0-1 from Brown. And right on down the middle for strike two. And Brown already through five shutout innings here in the, here in the six. And here's the payoff. And right at the knees for strike three. Another strikeout for Brown. And he has been killing it. And one away for the Falcons. It has to be the nine hole hitter. Second baseman Carmichael. Here's the pitch from Brown. And Carmichael. Carmichael tries to bunt that one to the right side. And it'll be a foul ball 0 and 1. And we've seen a few combinations from Gunner Brown. Seen a mix of that fastball and that curveball. And a little bit of a changeup. And here's the 0 and 1. And right on the edge, just missed it. Counts one and one. And this one's grounded. Penny is there. Throw the first is in time for out number two. And quick two outs for Brown. And back at the top of the order. For the Falcons, that will be Anderson up to the plate. Brown is ready. And here's the pitch. And right on the edge for strike one. Hit a curveball right at the knees for strike two. Filthy movement on that pitch. And once again, Gunner ahead in the count. Here's the pitch. And just low. And now it's grounded. Brown gets it. Toss the first is in time for out number three. Six shutout innings for Gunner Brown. And we'll head to the top of the seventh as the Knights still lead it. 4 0 over the Falcons. As we'll be right back here on a Fight Live presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And we're here in the top of the seventh as the Knights lead it four to nothing over the Falcons. And Gunnar Brown, six shutout innings. This is a great performance. As Max Miller still on the mound for the Falcons. As the Knights scored one in the first, and then three more in the fourth. As the score remains four to nothing. 
And earlier today, the, both of these same schools played in the softball area as Episcopal won with a score of 16-0 over Country Day. And currently on the softball field right now, Stephen F. Austin is beating Sam Houston 3-0. As Gutierrez is the leadoff batter for the Knights in the top of the seventh. Here's the pitch from Miller. As that's low, hits the plate 1 0. And swing and a miss for strike one. Good tears, chase that one in the dirt. And curveball high. Two and one. And that's a liner to left and out of play. Here's the even 2 2. And low. Here's 3-2 to Gutierrez as this one's grounded. Anderson has it, though the first is in time, one away. And back at the top of the order. Has to be Rafi Gross with one away. Here's a pitch from Miller. And that is lifted and fouled away. And looks like onto the street with moving cars. And I wouldn't want to be driving at this time with the game going on. Here's a pitch. And that hits Gross and he'll take his base. As I was way inside with the fastball. And Penny will come to the plate with one on and one out. Miller is ready. Looks at first. And here's the pitch. Runner going to second. Swing and a miss. And I believe he got a piece of it. And it will indeed be called a foul ball as the runner will go back to first. Yes, yeah, counts on one. And you're to check at first and the tag not in time. And inside and low. Counts the one and the one. And this is a high fly ball in the left field. And Kimmel gets under it for round number two. And it'll be the catcher tossing up to the plate with two outs with the runner on first. Mm -hmm. 
Here's the pitch. And lifts that one into right field. Now it's going to drop. Stand up single for Tossig. And it'll be runners in first and second with just two outs. And runner in scoring position for Bennett Hanks. And has a chance to give the Knights a little bit of insurance. Miller is ready. Here's a pitch. Sets low 1 and 0. And that's a liner up the middle. And that is caught once again by Rollins to end the inning. Saving another run for the Knights. As we'll head to the bottom of the seventh, Knights still lead it 4 0 over the Falcons. And that's the third outstanding catch today by Rollins for Country Day. And final chance for the Falcons coming up next here on Vi Ply, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. As we're here in the bottom, the seventh. As Episcopal leads it four nothing over Country Day. As Gunner Brown is back out there for the seventh, and he has pitched six complete innings, shutout innings, and with three outs away, looking for the complete game shutout. It'll be number 18, Luke Rollins, leading off for the Falcons here in the bottom half of the seventh. As they need to make a rally here to keep their season alive. But just two innings with scoring for this game, and that's all Pistol needed so far with one in the first and three in the fourth. And just excellent scene of base running in that fourth inning. As Brown is ready, here's the pitch. And that's low, one and zero. Oh. And this one's bunted. Brown has it, though the first is in time, one away. It'll be number 15. Corey Carp will come to the plate with one away. Here's a pitch from Brown, and swing and a miss, strike one. Mm -hmm. 
And now it's grounded. Thor in his air. Throw the first is in time for out number two. And the Falcons are down to their final out. And Gunnar Brown. One out away from a complete game shutout. And he has been magnificent. Many strikeouts and allowed just one hit tonight. And the last chance for the Falcons will be number 14. And it'll be Kimmel. And everybody on their feet here at Don Sanders Stadium. Here's the pitch from Brown. And curveball right on the outside edge for strike one. Here's the pitch. And swing and a miss. Strike two. Gets him with the curveball. And the Falcons now down to their final strike. Brown is set and ready. Here's the pitch. And right down the middle. Strike three. That's a ball game. Complete game shutout for Gunnar Brown. And the Knights have won this game in the SBC Championship with a score of 4 nothing. And call it a Episcopal sweep as both the softball and baseball teams have won tonight here on the campus of Sam Houston State. Magnificent outing for Gunnar Brown. Seven complete shutout innings and gets the win for the Knights. And as the Falcons will go home. As everybody is on their feet here at Don Sanders Stadium. Everyone hugging it out for Episcopal. And that'll do it tonight. The final score here at Don Sanders Stadium here on the campus of Sam Houston State University. The Episcopal Knights 4 and the Fort Worth Country Day Falcons nothing. As I've been Justin Barbosa, ladies and gentlemen, and we thank you for listening to Fight Live, presented by Academy Sports and Outdoors. And for the final time tonight, the Episcopal Knights 4 and the Fort Worth Country Day Falcons, nothing. Have a great night, everybody.